Hi guys, it's Tanil from Paper Milkshake. I've got a very fun tutorial for you today. We are going to be making these very cute charms, which you can quite easily turn into a keyring, as I've done with this one here. And they are so teeny weeny tiny. I've got a little pen here just to show you the scale. Now you can make these a little um, charm to add to your projects, to give to your pen pals. You can do whatever you want with them, but they are just so cute. They have nothing inside. They're just a little, um, a little embellishment, I guess you could say. And I made three of these yesterday evening using the Cray Paper Good Vibes collection. And I just think they are so adorable. They are so cute. You can obviously use any collection you'd like, but today I'm going to be making some pink ones using All Heart. So let's put these aside. And the reason why I'm making them with All Heart is I owe some reply mails to my pen pal and two of them are going to be All Heart themed. So that's what we're going to work with. So the first thing you need is a heavy duty cardstock. And this one I've got here, a 350 GSM cardstock. And it's so simple to cut this out yourself. So what you'll need to start with is a four centimeter strip, which you can cut from an A4 sheet of paper. So once you've got your four centimeter strip, you're gonna cut them into smaller little bits. And one of these have a dimension on it. No, I just have one piece with a dimension on it. So there's three pieces all up. You'll need a three centimeter by four centimeter piece, two of them. And then what's basically going to be your spine but what i might do is just pop that onto some paper so you can see it better otherwise it's white on white and it's very difficult to see so here we go that's a little bit better so it is uh four centimeters tall and three centimeters wide and all the three pieces are four centimeters tall then you'll make one that's only one centimeter wide and this piece being the same as the other piece it's a three by four okay so i'm going to be covering two little charms today so i've just pre-cut them out earlier then what you're going to need is all your little tiny embellishments that you have in your collection so these all heart baby stickers little puffy stickers are just perfect for this project and I've also got my chipboards I'm going to try and make use of all the little ones I have left on this chipboard the XO up there will be perfect as well and of course grab some of your favorite pattern paper so putting that aside I'm just going to choose some papers that I want to use for my two little charms today like the little pink dots so I might stick with the pink dots there and the stars I think I'll go with the stars pattern paper okay so when you trim your paper for the cover you basically just want them to sit um, a little bit above the bottom so you want to leave about half a centimeter to a centimeter border all around your project so I'm just going to make a little mark there doing the same here just making a little bit little mark above and beyond I'm not being too exact because you don't need to be all we're trying to make sure is that there's enough clearance to fold the flaps over to cover the album. Okay, so let's move those aside. That's my first strip. And 
my second strip. So I was inspired by my friend Diane at Daily D to make these little charms. Uh, towards the end of last year, 2019, she made some in the lead up to Christmas and she made these tiny little albums, tiny little travel notebook journals and they were so adorable. They are so cute. Okay, so I'm going to grab my glue and I'm just going to start gluing these down. So of course, turn the piece of paper over. And you, I just want to make sure that I'm gluing the writing side down so that it's not visible in the end of the project. Okay, I'm leaving roughly about eight millimeter gap all around now. I think that will be sufficient. There's my little spine and be quite generous with the glue because today's project, while I'm filming it, I'm not actually sure whether I'm going to stitch around um, around the cover as I've done so here. And that's a fully optional thing. It's The stitching wasn't exactly to hold it down, it was just to add some more kind of uh, interest to the project really. It's not essential at all. Okay, so I've left about a two millimeter gap between uh, this piece of paper and the spine and the spine and the next piece of paper along. Give that a trim. And this part is probably the fiddliest. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is basically chop off my corners. Chopping off four, four corners. And this part, I will show you my little tricks. So I'm cutting little V, inverted V's where the cardboard meets the patterned paper. Just like that. Then I'm going to grab my fussy cutting scissors because I want the pointed end. Basically, I want to go into the pointed end and I just want to try and cut a little straight line between the V's. Okay, just a straight line there. That's probably the only part of this project where you have to be a little bit careful and exact. Just like that. Okay. I'm just gonna get rid of my little mess there. And then we can start gluing down the flaps. I'm going to try and work on a pattern piece of paper just so you can get that contrast and you can see what I'm doing. Just like that. Okay, and then we can fold the flaps over. And this is basically going to be the cover of our little mini album or our album charm. Let's call it an album charm because <laughs> it's meant to look like a little album, but really it's just a charm or a keyring or whatever you end up turning it into. Okay, just like that. It is so small, <laughs> so you'll need to have pretty uh, gentle agile fingers to do this project and press everything down well press down quite firmly We're just going to let that glue set while we work on the next one.
Now, if you're going to make a set of these, like I've done with these three here, try and mix it up a bit with the pattern paper. So you're going to want to use, if you, so if you use one that's quite floral and patterned like this cactus one here, then you're going to want to make some that are a little bit more solid. Otherwise, it's going to look very cluttered. Okay. So doing my trimming again. I probably didn't allow enough uh, border around the bottom at the top. Should have given it myself a little bit more wriggle room, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Okay, I'm gonna grab our scissors again. Just chopping as straight as we can. Now, because these are just tiny, tiny little, little embellishments, we have to try not to um, over decorate them or put too much dimension on them because that won't work for this project. It just won't work. You'll end up with something a little bit too bulky and um, I don't know, it'll just sort of get in the way if you're going to use it as a charm or a key ring, it'll just sort of flail about and yeah, too much chunky just isn't quite suitable for this project. Let's bring that paper back again for contrast so you can see what I'm doing. Now, because I've left these flaps too short, I'm now thinking that sewing will be essential just to hold down these flaps, but that's still a few steps away. So let's just move on to the next step. So now we've got the outer covers ready. Not too worried about that at the moment, about that flap, flap coming up. Because once again, I've decided to stitch this down later. So we're just going to choose another pattern and preferably one that will contrast with the pink. Why don't we go with this floral? Yeah, let's go with the floral. So I'm going to make my marks. And what you want to leave is about two millimeters from the bottom at the top. So that should be sufficient. And making another little mark so that's a that makes a really nice little insert actually So you want to fold these so that they match the fold lines of the cover. So just making little marks there and there. Same with this one. Now you can use double sided sticky tape for this project. I find it a little bit um, too, I guess, fiddly and I find that glue is just fine. And if you sort of cut them too short like I have here, it's salvageable as long as you have a um, sewing machine. You could even use a glue gun if you really wanted to. So we're just folding up the fold marks to match our cover. And I am going to invert those folds. Oh, 
my nails. Okay, so. And that's the inside. So just making sure that my fold lines line up with the fold out. There we go. That's the structure done before sewing. Okay, and they stand up as well. They're really cute. And now we're gonna do the same over here. Whoops, we haven't actually done our folding yet. Just like that, inverting our folds once again. And going down. Okay, so this is the one that I didn't cut enough um, flaps for, enough allowance around the border of it. So I am now going to just jump offline very quickly, do some sewing, sewing, sorry, and come back. So all I'm doing is sewing around the border of the front, the spine, and the back. And what I decided to do was to just sew one of them, okay, and leave the other one without stitches so that those of you who don't have a sewing machine could still make this project work and they turn out just fine. Okay, so we can now start decorating. I'm going to grab the All Heart Puffy stickers that I showed you guys before, plus my chipboard. Okay, oh, this is always the funnest part getting to decorate <laughs> so I really like the little um, CD player I think he's so cute but I'm not convinced that I want so much green in this project so maybe I will just go with some maybe the sunglasses the sunglasses are really cute love the sunnies and just to make it pop a little I'm going to use some um, of my perma tape sorry that's my dark side sticky tape and I'm gonna pop my little coffee cup there's my little coffee cup and I think I want to put a little sentiment down there if I can find one <laughs> Perhaps we could go with Hey Girl or No Bad Days, but that's very, very pink now. I'm really just using what I've got. I don't want to open a new packet of ephemera just for this or a new packet of stickers just for this. So let's use the phone. The phone's really cute. It's a little bit of sticky lying around there. Now I might need to look elsewhere and see if I can find a sentiment. So let's put that down for now. I'm just wondering if that happy is too wide for this project. Yeah, happy is a little bit too wide. XO could work. Yeah, I think XO would be quite cute actually. Let's see if we can put XO in there. Yeah, so right through the middle. Now I'm using very thin foam tape and I'm not really layering it up because I don't need to for this project. I don't need to for this little tiny, tiny um, albums.
that's real cute and it's such a good way as I said before to use up the last of your like little embellishments not that that's ever really a problem because I find that crepe paper collections never quite come up, come with enough small embellishments so I always generally anyway use them up first so quite lucky in fact to have so many left over now on this project sorry on this chipboard okay I'm just moving on to my second one I really like stars so I think this one deserves a little star um, maybe we'll put that on hold for now and could we make use of yeah let's see if we can make use of this beautiful paint sample I love the little paint sample it's so cute yeah let's do the little paint sample cute and perhaps hey girl hey could go over it or no bad days or the mixtape oh the mixtape is cute perhaps even the floral I reckon we can do the mixtape and I'm going to put this guy back because I think I think this star's a little bit too big to embellish this little album. So let's go with the mixtape and I'm just going to put the little bit of foam here just to prop it up and the mixtape can go over like so just like that and I'm going to put a tiny little star at the top. This little chipboard stuff will work perfectly on top right here. Okay, how cute are they? <laughs> so now I'm going to grab my um, We Are Memory Keepers, uh, our Keepers Eyelet Maker or Eyelet Press. Um, and the reason I'm grabbing this is it does have the tiny little hole punch, which is what I'm looking for. Um, I'm not going to put an eyelet through this, and I didn't do an eyelet on these ones here because it's just, I don't know, the spine is a bit small, and I think the um, eyelet will be too big and overwhelm the project, so it's quite okay. So all you want to do is make sure that it's on the top of your album, on the spine, as opposed to the bottom, like don't accidentally punch the bottom. Just kind of clean little hole there and I'm going to do the same here trying to get that as centered as I can and those holes are ready for me to add tassels and little charms to here's my charm box okay a bit of water just then okay I'm gonna have a look and see if I've got some tiny little tassels which I think I do still have some in my stash and I do I'm looking for a little hot pink one but I think I might be out of hot pink oh no that's a red I think I am out of hot pink so let's just use these little pink ones peachy pink ones there And some pom poms. And oops, I also want to grab one of these or two of these. If I can find another one, I don't think I have another one. Oopsie daisies, guys. I may very well be down to my last one. Oh, no, I see another one peeking there. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so.
on goes my tassel on goes my little chain because that's the chain that's going to be basically your uh, charm your dangly charm And then I just want to add some pom-poms to this just for fun because they're cute. And I'm going to add this about halfway on my chain. There we go, that's one done. I wish these weren't peachy pink. I wasn't really going for peachy pink, but that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Maybe I'll go with a different charm for this one. Since I'm not fond of the peachy pink tassel. How about a unicorn? <laughs> Why not? On goes my chain. Put that back up. This has another extra alligator clip on it, not sure why. Struggling a bit to get that off. Come on, come off. He's just a little parasite just hanging on there for no good reason. <sighs> come on. It's just going to slide off. There we go. Off he goes. <laughs> Put this little guy back on. And the last thing I'm going to do is add my little pom pom on. Again, adding it halfway up my chain. And I'm done. Okay, so such an easy project so much fun to make they are just superb aren't they look at these <laughs> there's my little unicorn charm and um that alligator clip is upside down that's just how they come but that's fine we can turn that back upside down the right way around sorry and there's my little all heart mini album charms like how cute are they they're so cute. There's one. There's my second one. Just giving it an extra press down. Look at that. How cute. <laughs> so I'll just bring them a little bit closer to the camera so you can get a nice close up. There we go. That's the polka dot one and the one with the star paper. So I'll be sending these off to my pen pal um, and these little babies will be going to other pen pals. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and for joining me today. Um, I'm looking forward to filming more tutorials in the future and once again if there's anything in particular you'd like to see just drop a comment below. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!